Antarctica, the fifth largest continent, is almost completely covered with ice. It is the coldest and the driest place on Earth. No one lives there for long, except birds and whales and seals and penguins. Antarctica's glaciers, ice shelves, and icebergs are thousands of years old. They seem quite indifferent to what is happening in the rest of the world. But they have already been greatly impacted by the actions of humankind. This could be a very important election for penguins. The colony of Gentoo and Chinstrap penguins here seems to have a wait and see attitude. Though there are some heated debates. big lines to vote, possibly due to early voting and absentee ballots. According to sources inside Antarctica, there is a record turnout of black-white voters. They seem to vote with rocks. Word of election results travels slowly to this part of the globe. Eventually, the news arrives. Could this be true? A landslide? Later, everyone hurries to what appears to be a celebration.
There seems to be some kind of rally here. Nearly 200,000 Adelie penguins, as far as the eye can see. Across the peninsula, 100,000 chinstrap penguins hold quite a demonstration. The study of Antarctica is critical in helping scientists to comprehend climate change and its impacts on the world's natural ecosystems. Scientists now know that Antarctica has undergone significant warming over the past 50 years, especially in the West. The Antarctic Peninsula has been one of the most rapidly warming places on the planet. Glaciers have retreated, ice shelves have broken away from the continent, and less sea ice develops each Antarctic winter. The burning of fossil fuels is increasing the carbon dioxide in the ocean, making the water more acidic. Penguins are aquatic. They only come to land to mate and nest. They depend on the sea for their food. Penguins live on krill, a little shrimp-like animal that is the staple food for many animals, including whales. During the Antarctic winter, krill live on the undersurface of the ice. When there is less ice, there is less habitat, and thus fewer krill. When the water is more acidic, there are fewer krill. Some penguins are in jeopardy if the climate warms even a couple of degrees. Already there is a decline in the numbers of Adelie and Chinstrap penguins.
It is a world far, far away from the politics of the United States, but the impact on its inhabitants is direct. And the decisions humans make about their use of energy will ripple to the bottom of the world. Will the new administration take the lead in changing humankind's use of energy and dependence on fossil fuels? Here in Antarctica, there seems to be hope. <laughs>